What's up, what's up, what's up? Of course, it's your boy Richie Rich at Consumer Prime Support. Man, you already know we review appliances. Today, we're gonna focus on a top load impeller washer with extra power, 4.8 cubic feet. It only comes in the color white. It has a 10 year limited warranty on certain parts and it's brought to you guys by Maytag. All right, so this portion of the video, we're gonna focus on the functions and the features. Man, you already know this is my favorite part of the video. So we're gonna dissect this appliance. So now you didn't went to the store, you didn't purchase this appliance because you like how it look, you like all the options, you like all the features. So let's figure out exactly how to work all these options so that we can help you guys understand your appliance and understand how does it work. All right, so let's get it. Again, brought to you guys by Maytag. You can see the sleek button, you have your pause button, you have your power button, you have your sense, you have your fill, soak, wash, rinse speed, done, and of course you have your lid lock. You have normal sec normal cycles, bulky items, delicates, casuals, drain and spin. You also have your, your water faucet that you can use, your clean washer um, that cleans the inside of the washing machine, heavy duty colors, whites, towels, and quick wash. All right, so we're just gonna let the video rock for a second so you can see all the options that you have there as far as cycles. Here it says boost stain fighting on any wash cycle, all right? So this is where we're talking about the extra power, extra boost, this is something you can turn on and off, all right, at your leisure. All right, so we're gonna talk about the soil, right? You have your light, medium, heavy, medium with, uh, with softener, you have your heavy with um, use with softener as well, and you also have extra rinse or you have a single rinse, all right? So we're gonna dip, dive into that. You have your deep fill options, right? You can have your auto where it does it automatically. You have your medium, you have your high, and you also have your max. All right, so we're gonna get into all that as the video continues to roll. All right, so we're gonna stop it right about there so that we can get into this appliance, know what we're getting ourselves into. So let's talk about this Maytag top load washing machine quick start guide. All right, so when you're looking at this, it start off with appearance may vary depending on the model. All right, so this is the model that we actually have. Um, it's a little bit different um, here. The model here says it deals with um, soap suds. Uh, used with fabric softener, ours says rinse, extra rinse or the single. So that's a little bit different um, there. So it varies, but we have your power button that we start, press to turn on and off or to stop the cycle. Your cycle knob is number two, where you can select different cycles. Your start and pause button is pretty straightforward. Press and hold the start and pause button for one second until all status lights are eliminated. Then release the start cycle, press and start, a cycle to pause, cycle and unlock lid. All right, it says note, if machine is spinning, it may take longer to unlock lid. And that's one of the things that you have to get accustomed to. Once you start it, once the motor is already turning, the tub is spinning, there's a sensor that sends that sends um, a signal to the control board to let you know that the unit is operating, the unit is running. So when that is taking place, it's gonna take a while for the machine to stop and the lid to open back up, all right? So this is something that you wanna get accustomed to. I've seen where it actually go to about between five and six minutes, all right? So it can take that long in order for it to open the lid again. All right, number four, talking about your cycle modifiers. It says not all modifiers are available in all cycles, so that's one thing. All right, we talk about the soil level. You got your deep fill, all that stuff. We're gonna get into that. Um, it says the temperature, right? So we're talking about turn knob to modify the cycles available temperature. Tap cold, cold, cool, uh, warm, and hot. All right, so these are your different temperature settings. And again, your tap cold is the coldest setting. So for your older machines, when you wanna just use plain cold water, that's the tap cold. Even though it says cold, it's still a mixture of the hot water and the cold water. So you want to get used to that. You want to get accustomed to that because with the new machines, they're trying to save energy. So a lot of the times it's not as hot as it's supposed to be and it's not a, as cold as it's supposed to be unless it specifically says it. So this one, it says tap cold. All right. Deep fill. Let's talk about it. All right. So again, a lot of customers have been complaining about the options of the limited amount of water inside the machine. When you add in the deep fill, this gives you the old feel to the washing machine, the traditional stuff, the stuff that we all used to when your washing machine fills up with a whole bunch of water and it gives you the impression that your clothes is being clean. 
Um, you do still have that option on this particular model, which is great. It gives you the auto setting, right? So that detects the soilless in your in your water, depending on the load inside the machine. So we're going to talk about that. You have your medium, you have your high, and of course you have the max, which is the max fill. All right, so. We're going to read a little bit of information where it says the deep fill. It says use the deep fill knob to determine how much water you want to add to your wash cycle. Set it auto for the machine to automatically determine the optimal water level. All right. Again, this is all sensing. This is all uh, modern day how the appliances are working these days. They do a lot of sensing. It says set to max for the maximum allowable, allowable water level for the cycle. Higher water levels can be used to reduce the likelihood of white residue on dark clothing. All right, so you want to make sure you take care of that. We have the soil level. So use the, soil, the knob to choose the soil level as well as the number of rinses desired. All right, if fabric softener, if using fabric softener, make sure to use the two topmost setting, which add an extra rinse to the cycle. And you have to do these things. All right. Especially if you have you adding fabric softener, it has to dissolve the fabric softener when it does dispense inside of the machine. So you want to make sure it's being dissolved and you want to make sure that that extra rinse is washing out that stuff. And it also helps with if there's any soap issues that you might have that's sitting on the clothes because a lot of the times we prefer to dump the soap on top of our clothes, which is not the right way to do it. You want to actually dump your Put it inside the soap dispenser or you want to dump the detergent inside of the machine before you actually put your clothes in it. All right, that's the best way to do it. We talked about the extra power. It says turn the extra power knob to and on, turn on for a boost to cleaning performance on any wash cycle. All right, so Maytag had this on the older machine before. So they're adding this function where you can actually turn it on and turn it off depending on how you want to use the machine. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, the extra power option will increase the duration of the cycle. That's one thing that you want to know. All right, you got to compensate for you want to get clothes being extra clean with extra boosters. It's going to take some time to do so. All right, note if the washer detects an out of balance condition, it may pause and attempt to correct the situation. During this time, the sense and rinse spin status indicators will both briefly eliminate. All right, so this is something that a lot of customers are going to have to get accustomed to. Your machine, even though especially with the digital machines that you might see something that says 10 minutes in order for the spin cycle to be finished or it's almost at the end of the cycle it all depends on the weight if it's off balance or not so even though it might say 10 minutes that 10 minutes could take 20 minutes and you might think there's an issue with the machine more than likely there's probably not an issue with the machine unless it's overloaded and now if you put nothing in it and you're still having those issues, then I agree with you. If you put a lighter load inside those machines and you still have a spin options, that could be the case. But you still want to make sure everything is balanced around the tub. Make sure you're doing that properly. Because um, if you don't do those things, then of course, that could cause your machine to be off balance. It's going to prolong the time of the machine. And your machine is smart enough to make multiple attempts. So if it makes multiple attempts and it's still off balance, it might trigger an error code or error message to let you know, hey, there's an issue here. Um, for some reason, the machine is and, and the sensor and the control and the signal is just off. So either we can recalibrate that signal, um, readjust your clothes, or you have to call Maytag for service depending on if you have a manufacturer warranty or if you have any extended warranty, extended warranty you're dealing with when you're talking about the machine. All right? So same thing playing. That's good. All right. Warning. Do not wash water resistance or water repellent type clothing. All right, so we want to make sure we do that. So let's get into it. Further to closely follow the instructions may result in abnormal vibration and out of balance condition that could result in physical injury, property damage, and or appliance damage. All right, so you got to make sure you do these things, man, um, because they're not playing no games, man. So. You won't have to do these things right according to what it is expected from the manufacturer. All right, so let's dive into some of these options. More water when you want it. All right, so we talked about, excuse me, the auto sensing and the deep fill. It says when you use, when you select deep fill auto or deep fill auto, deep fill auto or deep fill auto plus extra rinse, the washer will adjust the water level on the optimum amount of high efficiency wash of the detected load size. 
selecting deep fill medium max or deep fill max extra rinse to automatically add more water to your wash cycle all right so it's giving us a basic picture of how it looks on the inside of the machine we're going to dive into that a little bit more as well when we talk about the cycle options and cycle cycle guides and stuff like that to help you out it says it's recommended to use bulky items cycle with deep fill max options to loads where maximum water level is desired expect longer cycle times due to extended fill duration when using the deep fill option besides auto all right so again you have to understand these things it's going to take time to do these different options that you have it's not even just applying to wash machines i've seen it applied to dishwashers back in the day a dishwasher they used to run for an hour and a half now they're running for like three hours because you got to compensate for saving energy you got a um you got less water less energy so in order for your dishes to wash within that time the time got to be extended all right so this is where we're talking about these different appliances cleaning with less water all right so you still also have that option as well right it says the washer has been designed and optimized to provide a thorough cleaning using less water to conserve energy and resources all right it says as the water dampens and moves the load the level of the items will settle in the basket this is normal and does not indicate that more items should be added important you will need you will not see a full basket of water as with older less efficient wash machine it is normal for some of the loads to be above the water level all right so just keep that in mind when you're dealing with the appliance right choosing a cycle a cycle guide for the washer can you can find that information at maytag.com pretty straightforward or you can just pause the video check this out so you can see that so let's go over a little bit more with some of the options that they have and again when we're dealing with these appliances man you gotta deal with the first thing is that you gotta have he soap if i don't tell you anything else man you have to use the soap look for the simple the symbol that says high efficiency soap you have to use that option if you don't it's gonna affect the way the clothes washes it's gonna affect the machine it could damage your machine and like i stated before in prior videos i used to be the one that says hey that's not gonna affect your machine until i started going out on service calls and i noticed that the soap that customer were using was damaging the machine because it was over sudsing it was actually affecting the pressure switch that detect that detects the amount of water that goes inside the machine so sometimes it does affect it and you just want to make sure that you're doing it properly according to what is instructed by the manufacturer especially if you have a manufacturer one-year warranty for somebody to come out and instruct you and stuff like that that is stuff that is not really covered by them and like i said sometimes you will have to pay it out of out of pocket so you just want to make sure you're doing it according to what they recommend all right and don't forget always read the safety instruction for fire hazards and safety and safety and all that stuff to protect yourself um loading your clothes for best result load garments in loose heaps evenly around the basket wall that is extremely important not on top of the the um impeller right and cover it you want to load it around it right so you put it take the clothes out make the clothes make sure the clothes are loose and evenly distributed um inside of the machine all right so that's something that you want to take think about um he adding laundry products below for more information adding he fabric softener and or bleach again you can go to the website a lot of the machines now have the qr codes that you can scan on the machines and they'll give you the owner's manual they give you instructions all the stuff that we're going over now to help you with the machine you can reach out to maytag personally so the so whatever excuse you had before and not really understanding how the machine is working um you can basically say all those stuff is out the window man so you just have to make sure you just do it according to what is recommended all right press power to turn on the washer pretty simple we talked about that we talked about the different cycles we talked about the start we talk about adjusting the cycle setting and cycle options right additional options right um it says no not all cycles setting or options are available with all models and that's one of the things that you got to look at certain models are specific to certain things we talked about that initially when we started this video as well depending on what you get so let's dive into this joint a little bit more when it's talking about adding laundry products it says using non-he detergent will likely result in longer cycle times and reduce rinsing performance 
It may also result in component component failure and over time buildup of mold and mildew. So like I told you before, it does affect the machine. It's going to affect the way that it operates and clean your clothes. All right. HE detergent should be low sudded, sudsing and quick dispersing to produce the right amount of suds for the best performance. All right. It says adding HE detergent to the basket. All right. So you want to make sure that you add it to the basket. All right. So as soon as you bought before you put your before you even add water, you can just dump it in there. All right. Then you turn it on. It says add a measure amount of HE detergent on single dose laundry packets into the basket. If you have those laundry packets, just throw them in on the inside and sit on the floor. Same thing that you do with your dishwashers. You throw it on the inside. Do not put them in a soap dispenser because it affects your dose, your soap dispenser. On this machine, there's no soap dispenser. So you just want to make sure you just add your detergent inside the tub. All right, it says if using oxy type boosters, color safe bleach, or fabric softener crystals, add to the bottom of the washer basket before adding clothes. So, all right, so when you do that and you turn the machine on, you want to make sure um, you do this stuff first because that helps, right? These additives and types of boosters and all this stuff, you got to be careful with that as well. I know I had an issue with a customer that was using the oxy clean um, setting. So she stopped using it for several months and then after stopped using it for several months, it still was affecting her clothes because I guess she used it so much. All right, so that's another thing that you gotta be aware of. Add in liquid Clorox bleach. Do not overfill, dilute, or use more than one cup. I used to use a couple, I wouldn't say a couple cups, but I probably used to, used to use a cup and a half because I wanted my whites to really look whites. It said do not use color safe bleach or oxy products in the same cycle with liquid Clorox bleach. That's a lot of stuff, man. So you don't want to damage your clothes, damage your fabric. Again, this is the owner's manual. This is where it's for. I'm adding fabric softener. All right, so we can talk about a lot of these little things here so you can see that. If you desire to use the liquid fabric softener with this washer, Maytag suggests using the downy ball dispenser. All right, it says pour a measure amount of liquid fabric softener into the downy ball dispenser. Pull the right the ring tightly to seal and place on top of load. Follow manufacturer directions for correct amount of fabric softener based on your load size. The downy ball dispenser will automatically release the fabric softener at the correct time in the cycle. For questions using the downy ball dispenser, visit downy.com. You know, www.downy.com. And of course, it says no. When using fabric softener, always use the soil and rinse knob to select a setting with extra rinse. This will ensure that no fabric softener remains or clothing after the cycle is finished. Adding liquid fabric softener manually. It says select the fabric softener option on the control panel before starting a cycle. During the final rinse, wait until the wash has completely filling, completed filling. Press the start pause button to pause the washer. Lift the lid and add the recommended amount of liquid fabric softener. Close the lid, press and hold the start button to resume the cycle. All right, so I think we went over everything that we could possibly do right now, man, in this owner's manual, right? They give you some basic stuff, but we're going to go jump right back into the video. Let that rock for a bit so you can actually see that. Like I said, all the options, single, extra rinse, um, fabric softness, so you have all that stuff that you can use there. And this is the full look of the machine. Again, the decal says 10-year limited warranty on parts. So we can dive, you can check out the parts portion of the video so you know what part is covered under warranty as well. This has an open window so you can actually see how the machine operates, right? And that's one of the great things about this machine I really like is the glass, right? So we talk about how easy it is for the door to be closed, right? You have your max over there. Um, that's where you put your actual bleach in. So you just want to be careful with that. All right, let's talk about more water when you want it you got the deep fill option so we talked about a lot of that stuff and we're just going to show you exactly how it operates how it helps dissolve soil with vigorous wash motions power impeller all right so that's what normally take place but like i stated before you can get it in the impeller or the actuator whatever is best for you all right so we got that all right so let's dive into the wash cycle guide setting shown are selectable for that cycle Recommended settings for each cycle are shown in bold. For the best fabric care, choose the cycle that best fits the load being washed. All right, so that's pretty straightforward there. Uh, just looking at it again, if you want to check this out, you can pause the video. A couple of cycles talking about items to wash, 
right? Cottons, linen, that's for your normal stuff. Your temperature there as well, you can see it is warm. You have your soil rinse, which is medium soil, extra power is off, or you can do the auto deep fill. Cycle times is about 60 minutes. We talk about it already ad nauseum just to let you know cycles are going to be longer on a lot of these newer machines so use the cycle for normally soil cottons and mixed fabric loads cycles are longer because the simple fact is you're trying to save energy you're trying to save time and of course when you add different options and features it's going to prolong the cycle towels is a big thing you use the towel setting for towels you can also use jeans in there as well or mixed loads or sturdy fabrics right stuff that are real strong all right so Again, depending on the temperature that's setting, that's set there and heavy soil, you can turn that on and off as far as the power. Uh, max fill or high fill as far as the deep fill, 65 minutes. Um, let's do into the quick wash cycle. Quick wash cycles for 29 minutes. It says only, it says use this cycle to quickly wash lightly soil garments and small loads. That's what it's for. You cannot use a normal setting inside of quick wash. All right, it says the quick wash cycle uses shorter periods of more intense washing to clean items quickly all right lightly soil small size garments um whites pretty self-explanatory white clothes right heavily soiled white fabrics that's it the water is going to be hot there's going to be heavy and extra rinse um extra rinse setting all right you have your medium as far as your deep fill the time is going to take 75 minutes and it says this cycle will use um, when used with Clorox bleach improves whitenings of soil white fabric. So just use that with of course with your Clorox bleach your colors All right, this is for athletic stuff for those of us that's like working out stuff like that This is the setting that you actually use for your athletic wear if you got kids they play sports Stuff like that if you're active like running and working out whatever it is that you do those type of athletic wear goes inside the colored um, for dark colored clothes, dark jeans, stuff like that as well. Um, Temperature is going to be cool, heavy soil, 55 minutes. Use this cycle for dark colors and dark items. All right. Heavy duty stuff. All right. Overly soil garments. Right. So stuff that is really thick um, that is needed. An additional cleaning effort all right so there's certain things that might need that use this cycle for heavily soiled or sturdy items again i wouldn't use any blankets or anything for heavy duty we'll tell you the cycle to use that for delicates washings uh, like hand wash things or silks stuff that you don't really want to get damaged that's 47 minutes right temperature is different um the max fill is different you should use this cycle to wash lightly soiled items indicating machine washable silks or gentle cycle on the care label and that's what you got to do whatever it says as far as the clothes that you buy wash it accordingly you have your casual which is different from which is non iron fabrics or permanent press synthetics all right 50 minutes deep fill medium soil level is light it says use this cycle to wash lightly soil items indicating washable silks or gentle cycle on the care label place small items in mesh garment bags before washing this casually uses a higher default water level that is a good 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 really good tool that they sent uh that they try to inform you on in using the garment bags really important the garment bag especially if you got little kids and their socks are small um, what normally happens or even now you got an adult your socks might get trapped inside the drain pump when it's agitating and spinning like that it's moving all over the place and it gets in between the machine clogs up the drain pump you call a service technician come out they pull it out get your machine working again but that prevents that from happening so you might want to get one of these garment bags which is extremely helpful um, to prevent your clothes from being damaged and it also cause you call it prevents you from calling out calling the service company to come out to repair the appliance all right bulky items this is where we're talking about sleeping bags sheets right your jackets right small washable rugs be careful with the rugs right if they shed they can shed inside the machine and then when it's draining all that out all that blocks up your drain pump then you're going to be needing the service technician to come out um, again this is where your comforters are small comforters all right so you want to be careful with the size of the comforters that's inside your washing machine all right bulky items all right so we talk about a lot of the stuff use the cycle to wash large items as jackets and small comforters the washer will fill with enough water to wet down the load before the wash portion of the cycle begins this cycle uses a higher default water level than the other cycles. All right, drain and spin, pretty self-explanatory. It's only a 10 minute cycle. There's no water, there's no rinse, there's no deep fill, none of that. It just drains and spin. 
All right, it says hand wash items or dripping wet items. If you feel as though your, your items are not wet enough, I mean, they're not dry enough, then you want to be able to use the drain and spin cycle. This cycle uses a spin to shorten drying times of heavy fabric or special care items washed by hand. So even if you use items by hand that you wash and you don't want to bring them out, which is difficult to do anyway, go ahead and throw them in the machine. All right, so that's fine. Rinse and spin. Sweatsuits and items requiring rinsing out detergent. Fine. Use a rinse and spin cycle, 28 minutes. Must select drain and spin cycle and extra rinse option. Combines a rinse and high speed for loads requiring an additional rinse cycle or two complete a load after power interruption. Also used for loads that requires rinsing only. All right, clean cycle, clean setting. All right, it washes and it cleans your machine with hot water. 60 minutes, an hour and a half to clean your machine. You wanna make sure you do this every 30 wash or every 30 days. That's fine, depending on if you have a lot of buildup inside your water. Some people have a lot of lime and buildup and it affects the toilets, it affects the sink. So you, if you have those type of issues, then you want to make sure that you clean your washing machine maybe twice a month if it's that serious. Um, you can use the uh, fresh or you can also use bleach, all right? So that's up to you as well. All rinses are cold water, all rinses, right? So you want to make sure that your cold water side is really working. Each cycle times can vary based on a variety of conditions and cycle options chosen. All right, so you want to make sure of that. All right, note about default settings. It says normal cycle is recommended for washing normal soils, cottons, and linen clothes. The clothes govern, uh, washes government energy certification were based on the normal medium cycle with all wash temperature selection and water fill levels offered in the cycle. All right, so you can read all that stuff for yourself. Pretty straightforward. So we're going to let the video rock and go back to the water faucet. Like I said, this is the machine, how it works, how it operates, filling up with water. Going back and forth, you can actually see how it operates when your machine is working. All right. This is inside the tub. Again, 4.8 cubic feet tub. The impeller or the actuator is up to you. Right here, we got the rinse spot treat or soak stains right in your washer built-in water faucet. All right, so you have your pre-treat station or you have your faucet station. That's what that is about there. Um, actually, I just jumped that video real quick. Let me go back to that. All right, so that's where we are right there. Pre-treat your clothes. Let's rock into the faucet. Water faucet, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. Says It says, use this selection to access an instant water stream. Use this feature to prevent clothes and other items right in the washer. You can also use this feature to manually add water to the machine and soak before a cycle. Note, the washer will drain at the beginning of the cycle if a large volume of water is detected to ensure the machine can correctly sense the load. All right. Always make sure you check your pockets. Make sure there's nothing in there, right? Uh, make sure everything is out of it. You have your different water temperatures as well to best allow you to use the cycle. And like I stated before, hot is not really hot. All right, it says some cold water is added to save energy. All right, so when we tell you guys about these different changes in the appliances, this is where it's headed. The coldest that you can get on your washing machine is tap cold. Sometimes the hottest you can get is the hot and it's not truly hot. Unless it says very hot or extreme hot, um, that's an added water temperature cycle. That's just, you know, what they used to do back in the day. Hot is hot, cold is cold, but now there's a mix and you had your warm. So there's a mixture between the hot and the cold and it's not really hot. But your cold is not really cold either. Your cool is not really cool. And your warm is, you know, steady warm, bright colored clothes, depending on what clothes and fabrics you're using as well. That's pretty dope there. All right, <clears throat> let's see. Manual soap. All right, let's dive into that real quick. If you would like to manually soak your garments at any time during the wash portion of the cycle, press pause and leave the lid closed. Once your desired soak time has elapsed, press and hold start to continue the cycle. As long as the lid remains closed, your soak time can be longer than 10 minutes. However, if the lid is open during the soak and remains open for more than 10 minutes, the water will pump out automatically. All right, so that's where we are in the machine, man. We're just about finished wrapping up the functions and features. Again, one of the things we like about the machine, of course, is the closing the door. You don't have to slam the door these days. They just come down really sm uh, smoothly. You see the dynamic and the different options. <clears throat> that you have um, the measurements of the machine. You see how it looks when it's the mixture between the washer and the dryer in your home. And of course, it's brought to you by Maytag. Of course, we out of here, man. I'm your boy, Richie Rich. 
functions and the features. We are out of here. Peace. Oh, mm -hmm.